Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. So yes, this stream is entitled The Placid Bay, meaning the calm bay. And that's how the house is today. We're on a calm bay. We're going to chill out a little bit and we're going to play some Project Hospital made by Oxymoron Games. So, um, yeah, how's everybody doing this morning? Hopefully everybody's doing good. Hopefully the world is treating you right. Hopefully everything's going okay for you. Um, I really appreciate you spending some time with me here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, let's get going. I'm a little bit raspy this morning. Um, but I'll catch you up to speed. So, this hospital is the Bayside Medical Center. The second. Um, the second iteration of said medical center. And... <clears throat> excuse me, we have done, it looks a little bit different if you caught the last stream um, then you saw let me do a little rotating so the last stream we only had this section here and it wasn't nearly as big, we didn't have our MRI machine and we didn't have our little these two machines right here um I did some off-camera work. I did off-camera work and added in all the specialty clinics. Um, we did take out the loan for the max five hundred thousand dollars. We we took that loan out and we paid it back. We paid it back. I'll show you the books. Our loan balance is zero so we paid back everything we paid back everything um, and that was an accomplishment you know you want to get out of debt in video game life and in real life you want to kind of be out of debt at least that's my opinion um, so but yeah we added in these three rooms one's an echo well no the echo was there I think the echo was there the last time because I remember putting the door over here. But this room here, which is, let's, um, CAG room. Coronary anagram is a medical technique also called arteriogram that visualizes blood vessels and organs of the body. It is worth reading what all these machines do. So when you're in the game and you're diagnosing your, you know, patients, you can expedite and send them to the things they need to do. Um, and then we added the MRI room. Everybody knows what that is. Magnetic uh, res resonance imaging creates detailed images of the body using magnetic field and radio wave technique. And um, yeah, and I and then we added the sonogram unit. The sonogram unit provides specifically specific ultrasound based examinations and treatments so those are the rooms and for our clinics we added in internal medicine ortho orthopedy orthopedy um, bones and joints and stuff like that uh, cardiology neurology infectious disease um, my buddy, Idle Punk, he's real hot and heavy about the infectious disease department. So we got that. And um, traumatology. So we got those departments in. Um, we have essentially maxed out what we can do on the insurance. Um, except for uninsured, treat 50 patients patient a day. So, and we can achieve that. We might need to double our doctors, but uh, we'll, we'll see this stream. We'll see what we need to upgrade as far to, to reach this goal. That's what we'll find that out. Um, 
But yeah, so every other one wants me to go into hospitalization, and I am not ready to go into hospitalization. I I don't have a blueprint in my mind. I just, you know, I'm not ready for that. Um, and this one here, this bottom one, Oopsie Corpse. Um, we had to to even be able to use this, we had to create our own doctor from scratch, and we did that. We did that. Um, created our own doctor, and so that was the first to unlock this um, this insurance group. And now we need to reach 80% con uh, control doctor rating. And I guess that means our doctor is not screwing up, which shouldn't be a problem. 500 points for our character um, will be the reward. So we're basically out of the out of the section of the game where we're going to be getting money from insurance companies um, because like I said I'm not ready to enable ho hospitalization which would basically be building a, a facility that patients can have overnight stays right now you come in you find out what's wrong with you you go to a specialist and they tell you you need to go to the hospital or whatever you need to do and you go there this is a super duty clinic that's what it is um, we focused in on decorations and things like that paint colors everybody has a paint scheme now you know uh, all everything has its own little paint scheme and uh, that's pretty cool so that's kind of what we focused in on for the for this run a little more controlled now what i will say is as far as hospitalization goes this area here is i was thinking about doing a one floor hospital i know i said i'm going to stack and get taller but the medical center um i mean professional office building that's what the clinics and the doctor's offices and labs and um, MRI radiolo radiology would be considered it would be considered a professional office building right? because these people work have their own little practices inside of the hospital unit this structure will probably be more than one level I have enough room to add more general practitioners regular doctors in right here so I can fit eight in this layout, this floor. I have the floor space for that. Um, I have floor space to add in a couple of more imaging machines here on the first floor. And I have floor space to expand the laboratory um, functionality. And I'm telling you folks, if you get into this game, if you play this game, get you a pharmacy as fast as soon as possible. Get a pharmacy. It's life it saves the life of your enterprise um, it brings in so much money steady cash steady cash right there the pharmacy and i don't know how much space i have for the specialty clinics well specifically right here there's no space um when if i do put double you know each one of these there won't be a hallway between them they'll be right next to each other just so i can get in all six of them so we basically have enough room to double what we're doing and this stream we should see if we need to reach the 50 patients a day quota we should we will see where we need to double what departments are struggling um, I've had to expand the lab to accommodate just the 40 45 40 patients a day um, added in some pharmacists extra pharmacy stations, pharmacy stations, um, chemist stations, uh, and just to accommodate that, the game actually told me that there was, you know, hey, you're going to need to upgrade this area, expand it, because there's, there's a bunch of patients coming, and then when I zoomed out, and I looked about the hospital, you could see, like, a whole cavalcade stampede of people heading this way, I had the game paused, but you could just see them coming, once I unpaused the game, after I did the little changes, they just filed in. And yep, absolutely. Game gave me heads up.
Um, so the way I um, I added in another receptionist down here because people were just standing by. Now, the way I go about determining what needs growth, needs expansion, or more staff is how many people are waiting in the waiting rooms. If there's people waiting in the waiting rooms, three or four people, you're probably going to have an issue. I do have night shift staffed, fully staffed in the radiology department. Um, one person, because I have two workstations in each of our lab sections, um, which means you can have two employees per shift, a day and night shift. But on nighttime, I only run one person on each section of the hospital, I mean, section of the lab. Um, the specialty clinics have a doctor at night. Um, I also went in and made sure my general practitioners had advanced um, diagnosis skills. Absolutely worth having. It keeps people from coming back with um, bad, you know, bad symptoms and stuff like that you know, um, misdiagnosis. So that's kind of where we're at today. That's the layout. That's what I've upgraded. Um, the doctor's offices, I went prefab on these. I did this when I had the loan. I made this expansion when I got that $500,000 loan and brought in these guys and it was really worth it. Um, we might go with the prefabs for the next round again. There's like $5,000 of a clinic, basically. So, is that $30,000? $30,000 right here, basically. I can have all this again. That's no problem. So, um, yeah, there we go. That's what's, that's what's going on. In the hospital, Bayside Medical, the second. Let's um, let the sim run. It is the nighttime, 2300 hours. Uh, so things are a little calmer. I did see a patient wandering about. Let's um, let's see what Thomas Cole is. He has a spider bite and he is going to steroid cream. He's going to the pharmacy. So there we go. Cool. I wish I could resize these windows. Uh, they're a little bit cray cray. And yeah, the pharmacist are right on top of it. It's gonna hook the good guy up, Mr. Cole, and get him out of there. 130 bucks, boom. Um, yeah, I really like the lab. The lab and the pharmacy are, I have to say, my two favorite departments. I just love science. Um, I'm not the most scientific person, but I love it. I love it, I love it. And I love the way the lab looks. Um, and yeah, so we, there we go. We have a couple of doctors at night now. And uh, everybody has a bathroom. We have plenty of environmental service workers, EVS. Um, plenty of those guys running about. In the background, you might hear some arid, arid noises or um, the odd scream or whatever. We have Batman, the animated series, running in the background today. And uh, it's found, we're watching it via HBO Max. They just came out not too long ago, I think it was Christmas Day, came out with a Roku app. Um, shout out to Roku, shout out to HBO Max. Um, and we put it on our Roku and I've been loving it. Some of, my, some of our other streaming services might go by the wayside um, I love the HBO Max app and the Roku is a life saver and a dollar saver um, more so a dollar saver than a life saver um, yeah cause cable boxes are redonkulous a terrible what? a terrible article about your facility in a local Tabloid causes 25% patients to go to different hospital. Well, where's my lawyer? I think that's slander. My hospital is banging. Floors are clean. Staff is happy. There's snack machines and coffee machines all about. Lab is efficient. Pharmacy is reasonably priced. 
we take all type of insurance um, if they say we are not free then they will be absolutely justified in saying that because in this universe going to the hospital costs money so we'll press on well since we have 25% less patients um, this day cycle is not going to show us where we're weak as far as not enough staff or not enough doctors or whatever uh, I know we're going to need to put in some more doctors and the other goal for today is to basically get our monies up we're at three thousand dollars three thousand six hundred twenty four dollars to be exact um, and that's earned money no borrowed money we earned that Bayside Medical the second earned that so we want to increase that so we can build if we need to build Yeah, so right now, pathing is a little bit of an issue. I forgot about hallways. I didn't know how I was going to do this expansion over here, but folks have to walk a long ways to get into the lab to do their lab work or to the pharmacy. Um, so that's, you know, when I do build out the emergency room and the hospitalization section, I need to consider, and I have spaces over here for hallway. Have spaces for hallway on this side of the building so it should be fine because yeah I don't want to I probably will but I don't want to build I don't want to build a whole nother lab for each section they can share some of these um, resources if they're on the same floor I did look that up and find that out so that's cool Nothing to note. Money's still holding pat. Let's uh, get through this night time. We're on day 10. Um, we'll slow it down when we have patients come in just so we can intercede in their care. Oh, this dude's vomiting. He needs to go see a bunch of people about a bunch of stuff. Wow, all type of stuff. Oh, let me... see what we can do about the user interface main panel I don't know what panel it is I don't know what panel what what it is I'm actually trying to do user interface scale Display active file. but let's pop this down a bit maybe that'll do something Yes, there we go. That's perfect. Everything fits on the screen now. That's what I wanted. Okay, David Cole, another Cole. He has five uh, hidden symptoms. He's going to see the doc. No waiting involved, and that's cool. We got somebody getting what's this sonogram stuff happening. So that's cool. I haven't seen anybody use the MRI room yet. I don't know if there's a problem with pathing. I got to see, but you know, I haven't seen anybody use an MRI since I installed it. Let's see what the doctor determines. I want to pull up the doctor. Diagnostic skills. So he doesn't have the advanced diagnostic skills. Is he an intern or something like that? Yeah, he's an intern. So, he's probably not the one I want. I've been firing all the doctors without advanced diagnostic skills. They're basically, and I might send, a, send the patient over here, Mr. Cole, and he doesn't have advanced diagnostic skills. He's 80% in his diagnostic skills, but he doesn't have advanced. Uh, that's a bummer. Do we have a third doctor on night shift? Advanced diagnostic skills, 20%, 82%. We, we might want to transfer. Let's see what... Our doctor, um, wow, no hidden symptoms. This dude found out everything. He has chicken pox. Stomach and then... Da, 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 da. 
He has a fever. We should be able to give him some cream. But I'll let the doc do what he does. Wow, this dude saw her quick. One hidden symptom um, where she's going to for an EKG. Okay. All right, we're, we're getting it. Um, we have a patient waiting to be seen. The, the receptionist help in diagnosing a patient. So that's pretty cool. They're going to imaging. She's going to an interview. Triage reception. Where is she going? Going to a waiting room, going to a chair. Okay, yeah, she's waiting for the doctor, waiting for the doctor. Cool. Well, it is picking up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Come on. Gotta let the dog go in. It's picking up at 5.30 in the morning. Thank you, sweetie. But we have the staff. We have highly trained staff. Pharmacy. Doing the pharmacy things. There we go. Man, I need to see this MRI room working. I have no confidence that I set this up right. I gave it the maximum or minimum space allotted for this space. And um, I don't know if it's, you know, some of those minimum, minimum requirements, you have to know exactly where you're putting stuff because I just don't know. Just don't know. We have the three doctors. This lady here, Doc Brown, she should be the head of our, but I think it makes it head of the whole department, but um, Doc Brown should be in charge. We want the best level of diagnosis possible out of everyone. We don't want any half-stepping. We want our patients to leave healthy and you know, ready for the world. Better than they came in. That's how we want them to go out. Armed with armed with health or knowledge or, you know, all of the above. Yeah, so nighttime. Well, it's, it's early morning. It's not night. So early morning seems to be picking up a little bit. We haven't had four patients um, in early morning at all. I don't want this I don't want this lady to wait too long. She has fatigue with one hidden symptom. Um, fatigue. I want to send her to have an MRI just so I can see if it works. Go get a test done. Go get an echo test done. So I don't know if she waits for the doctor to tell her. I would wait for the doctor to tell me, but, you know, not some guy in the sky. Or 990. We're up to $49,000. So that's good. Where's our good guy going? He's going to have some tests done. Excellent. Find out what's wrong with your bloke. You'll be back to your video gaming in no time. How long do we wait here before this good doctor calls our next patient? She's going for testing. This lady looks like she's going home. Nope. Going to the pharmacy. Okay. Where are you going, Miss White? Going to a chair to wait for lab testing. What's the deal? I, I Hopefully I didn't mess up. Miss Gonzalez's uh, situation here. Okay, she's going, going to the doctor. What? There's no doctor this way. Is she gonna ambush him at the break room or something?
Okay, yeah, she's going to get her test done. That's cool. She didn't even didn't even wait for the the doctor. She she's going to have her test done. Let's uh, follow her case. See if this. I probably I should have sent her. Yeah, the echo is a good thing for it. See if it finds anything. Because she's having fatigue. It might be a blood flow issue. Might need some peppers in her life or something like that. Cayenne. Or sriracha. Anything. Did it say anything? Nothing. Okay. you to see Miss Brown. Miss Brown is awesome. She's the best doctor we have on staff at this moment. She's getting some uh, some water and um, she'll be back at it. Yeah, we'll follow Miss Gonzalez's case and see how it goes. Uh-oh. Miss Brown might be leaving. But... That just bodes well for our patient because our daytime doctors, all four of these daytime doctors have advanced diagnostic skills. Oh, she's going home. Yeah, she's going home. Doc Brown is like, I've had enough. Oh my goodness, sorry lady. Sorry, Miss Gonzalez. I uh, kind of impeded your care, I think. Shift turnover. Look at all these people, y'all. Look at this. There are a lot of employees dependent on our, our success. Um, so we're going to make sure we get it right. What do we have here? Dr. Robinson, let's... uh. Yes, yeah, she's going to see Jennifer right now. Miss Gonzalez, excuse me, I don't want to be so informal with you. So, you know, let me pause this real quick and um, show. So... Again, you just do a quick glance at your departments and you see if you have people waiting. Um, and that kind of tells you where backups or whatever are happening. And there's no one waiting in the hospital. So we were able to see 100% of our patients today. And we have the last one in before she gets all upset about being waiting too long. And that's great. So back to uh, back to it. Go ahead. Let's find out what Miss Gon Miss Gonzalez's issues are. She's getting her evaluation, sending her for a blood test. Oh, is the doctor drawing the blood herself? I mean, that's fine. I just didn't know they went through that. And it might be because I gave them the equipment in the room to do so. So yeah, all our doctors on day shift should have advanced diagnostic skills. We have a late doctor, they have issues, they might have party too hard, or the kids might be um, keeping them up. Where's Miss Gonzalez going? Fulfilling needs, oh, she's going to the restrooms. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Uh, we must have just had payday because we're three grand in the rear. That means our our pay for our employees must be about 40 grand a week. I think it does it a week. Um, it shouldn't do it a day, but yeah. So we need to get some ducats coming in. Okay, is she going back to the doctor? 
going to chair, waiting for her blood work. Uh, so yeah, she's going to the lab, waiting for her blood work, which our guy should be all about. Our hematology lab should be popping it off right now. right now so this is how like I'm, I'm really digging this this is so much better than the Bayside Medical um, the first version so maybe she had to drop her sample off to the lab tech Mr. Miller I don't know what the lab techs are called squints I got that from uh, Bones the TV show they called all the lab people squints Hope that's not a derogatory term. I don't mean anything negative by it at all. There we go. Got that out the way. Alright, they're processing her sample in this machine here coming out I wonder if we need more than that one machine for this type of thing I'll look into it I think we have no we only have one of these but you know we'll grow as we need to he's using the biohazard bin um, and he's back to the PC looks like uh, Miss Gonzalez is on her phone texting people and that's fine we have free Wi-Fi in the hospital and it's not throttled. So the people that they queue up for the receptionist right here, um, if they're just standing around, they're waiting to talk to somebody. So if we start seeing a lot of people milling about right here, we'll expand our receptionist zone. Yeah, it's, it's popping. We're starting to get folks waiting around. Miss Gonzalez, we didn't forget about you. Still a hidden symptom. Go take that test right there. Forget about it. Go see that test. Maybe that'll tell you what's going on with your fatigue. All right, we have um, a patient waiting over here. Uh, we have a patient waiting over here. I think this is an infectious disease. Um, no one waiting for lab work. No one waiting for imaging. Oh, we do have one person waiting for imaging. What exactly are you waiting for? X-ray, upper limb. All right, the X-ray tech is going to workplace. I think it's her. Comforting. Okay, yes, x-ray tech is in, so our patient will get seen pronto. Yeah, so I, I think I kind of put it together a little bit um, after the first run of my project hospital, our project hospital run, you know, the first one. So, um, and that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Now, um, I kind of just need to fine tune my staff and you know, get the money coming in. Alright, so Miss Gonzalez is still waiting the boat. She should be going to her testing that I prescribed. Looks like the testing I prescribed didn't take. Okay, well, we'll send her to do that. Need to see what's wrong with this lady. She's been around since 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, 
know we're seeing a backup on this clinic and this clinic would be our neuro I think it's our neuro yes it's our neuro doctor this might be an issue it might be an issue oh no he's out we're getting the next patient in that's not bad next patient's going in for that doc I lost Miss Gonzalez oh my goodness I lost Miss Gonzalez where is Miss Gonzalez is this Miss Gonzalez yes she is done with her examination she is going to provide a sample okay good for you Miss Gonzalez Um, as soon as we get a conclusion on Miss Gonzalez, we will we will advance time at the maximum pace. We have people milling about for the well, waiting for test results. So all three of them are getting worked on. Um, who's who provides this testing? Hematology lab, of course. The blood people would be doing that. Passing off a sample, and he's going to do some various tests on it. All right. Just make sure we don't have anybody waiting too long. How's this patient doing? She's waiting. I, does it tell if she's getting ticked off from waiting so long? I don't know if it does. Satisfaction. Okay, she's... Not, yeah, she's, um, she's chilling on her satisfaction. She's actually halfway. She's 50-50. Don't know if she's going to cuss us out or give us a kiss we don't know yet and the doctors are getting a bit of a cue we have four people waiting for four doctors this might be the issue well we have a free doctor we have two free doctors okay so we're actually we're getting there folks we're getting there last patient that's been waiting patiently let's give her a shout out oh gosh let's just go with Miss, Miss Wilson we're not going to put her first name on blast we don't want anybody picking at her so Miss Wilson Hey, good morning, Doc. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by, uh, Dr. Alejandro. 89. Uh, he's a fantastic streamer. Does his thing. And a fantastic, fantastic dancer, I might add. Yes. Check out his Twitter feed for his dancing uh, prowess. Yeah, man. You got the moves. All right, so yeah, we have a patient waiting. They'll be seen momentarily. Our lobbies are emptying out. Our doctor's lobbies are uh, proceeding with everything. So yeah, we're doing good, we're doing good. Um, is this Miss Gonzalez or the one we're following? She still has a hidden symptom. Go take this other test. We're gonna find out what's up with you as much as we can, Miss Gonzalez. Wait times aren't too bad though. We're not, everybody's staying busy, I'll give them that. So we have enough lab techs, uh, pharmacy technicians. 
They need to get up and get to it. Oh, our lab, though. Lab, we're struggling a wee bit. Our lab is struggling a wee bit. Miss Gonzalez is waiting. She needs to go do this test. We need her to go get her test on. Okay, the lab's moving people. What are we waiting for? Blood test. Blood test. Hematology is just the business right now. Everybody wants to be using the hematology department. Blood test. So we have three people waiting for blood test. Is this a fourth for a blood test? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna add some more lab techs in. That's um that's our issue and our doctors. Miss Gonzalez should be going real soon. The doctors are doing their they're doing excellent. They're doing excellent. Let's um let's add some lab techs. Go ahead and I got three thousand dollars. Let's add a couple of more lab techs. Hematology, um, precisely. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll need to add a computer, another workstation, because that's how you get your employees through the computer. So we'll grab a cheap PC, plop her there, grab a stool. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Sorry about that. Grab a stool and plop it in there. Yeah, I had to uh, get a coffee in. Excuse me. Okay, so let's grab us another lab tech. And I've been going for advanced biochemistry. Just because it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm clearing my throat. Just because we want better work, more advanced work. Come on in, guys. That's my sons. My sons are trying to get our attention. Okay. I thought somebody was trying to get in. Okay. All right, so there we go. We have the lab tech. that along. All right, Miss Gonzalez, come on. What's what's the deal? How do we favorite Miss Gonzalez? She's still, she's borderline too. There's a way that we can favor her so we can follow her as far as, you know, everywhere. But I think I'm able to Uh, yeah, yeah, that late night um, watching with the low volume. I do that all the time, too. No problem, Doc. I was just uh, telling everybody about your dancing skills and that they can find clips of it on your Twitter feed. So they need to find you on Twitter and um, check out your dance moves, man. Well, you're good at it, and you do look like you are having a great time, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
Okay, so hold on a second, Dr. Alejandro. We need to find out what's going on with Miss Gonzalez. She still has something. She's going to get the test. All right, good. Go get the test. Who does that test? Um, let me see. Is that hematology also? Hematology. Sweet chicken. It's... All right, she's going to do that test. Nobody's used the MRI room. How do I see what the MRI is doing? The MRI is doing nothing. Nobody's waiting for MRIs. I mean, I guess I should be happy about that. Also salsa dancing. Yes, yes. A man of many dances. Dr. Alejandro is. So, um, good people. Check it out. He has moves. He also is an excellent Twitch streamer. Um, great all-around guy, in my opinion. She's waiting for more tests, and I'm sure all these people are waiting for the hematology lab. We need more counter space so we can run more tests. I think we can drop in another lab table. Um, see, and that's the thing, though. Okay, the lab table... These are 300 bucks. Lab cabinet. Lab desk. Lab cabinet. What's the... I, I don't know the difference. But... Oh, that's three. You know what? I'm not going to go against mine. This, I can get two workstations out of this. And that's 200 bucks. 300 bucks and I can get one workstation out of this I think and that's yeah yeah this is the better the better one for the cost and we can plop a couple of more testing devices down I don't know if we need the glassware And the big bastard, I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's um let's do the tall glassware. The tall glassware and we'll do the hat metology analyzer. We'll do that. Maybe that'll help these guys and gals be able to do a little more of what we need them to do. And, um... $3.99 for the equipment cabinet. If we're going to do that, we might as well grab a lab. Half a lab desk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Drop that in. We can stick another RIA. Radio immune immunization is mandatory equipment for labs that measures difference antigens and carcinogens. DNA. Um, let's see what our patient needs for her test, Miss Gonzalez. DNA. So she needs to use the DNA machine, and I know there's another person waiting for the DNA machine. So let's go ahead and grab one of those, the DNA machine. Three Gs. While there's a flock of birds rolling over the lake. I'm going to, I need to talk to the people because I don't want them spraying all these damn chemicals around my lake, man. It's pissing me off. Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. 
it's a natural preserve. We got all these birds that migrate in and make nests, and they go over there with lawnmowers and all type of whatnots. Yeah, it's fed by the bay. Um, feeds the bay. It feeds the bay. Good gracious. Gotta, gotta go get my Aquaman on. Jeez. No, yeah, Aquaman Thor. I gotta go get my later life Thor and Aquaman on. Get out here. Get out here and save the environment and shazzle. Alright, so yeah, we got three guys here, three lab techs, um, some of them are girls. Wow, there's actually, this is a lady good. I want to make sure we have a diverse group um, in our lab. They're using equipment, they're putting samples in, going to the trash can. This is magic. And let's look for backups. We hadn't done that in a while. Yeah, they need to stop spraying. It's ticking me off. There's really no way in the general practitioner's area. Patient is waiting. The doctor, where's this doctor coming from? I don't know. Some of these doctors go all around the world to do something because a piece of equipment. When I set it up, some of this, like the break room wasn't there and the snack machines weren't there, so the doctors and staff would go all over to, you know, use facilities. Now that they're there, they won't read path, they won't adjust their path to go back, so it's a little, it's a little annoying, but, you know, it's kind of, it was on me. Alright, who's he calling for? Jessica Baker. Where's Jessica Baker? She's probably in a facility. Here she comes. Man, you need to move on to the next patient, man. Don't stand there and wait for Jessica Baker. Oh, she's got, she has stuff happening. She has stuff happening, but we are following Miss Gonzalez, We're trying to find out what's going on with her. Employee leveled up. Specialization specialization is available. Second, let's go to her and see what we can do. Epidemiology. Let's um advanced diagnostics. There we go. She's not going to be putting anybody to sleep, and anesthesiology is not what we need. All right, awesome, awesome. Better diagnosis skills. Miss Gonzalez, no nothing. We still don't know what's causing this lady's issues. She's been here all day. Why did we key in on her? That is kind of um, amazing. We keyed in on her, and she... It's probably one of the toughest cases I've seen. I have some of the best doctors here in this universe working in my hospital. And um, <clears throat> that brings up a side thing. I just want to say uh, these last couple of minutes on our first hour that that was the hardest part of abandoning Bayside Medical the first and creating Bayside Medical the second. I got attached to my staff. Um, and I don't know, it probably is just weird or whatever, but I, I picked each one of those people, handpicked, um, with the knowledge that I had at the time, and I realized that I did not have all the knowledge I needed at the time to make the best pick, but still, I didn't want to get rid of my folks. Absolutely, that was the hardest part. Not put building everything back, you know, laying, doing the layouts, adding color, putting chairs, and setting up rooms. No, that wasn't the issue. The issue was I didn't want to have to replace my staff. And there you go. That's what, that's what's up. All right, so Miss Gonzalez is back in with Dr. Susan Cole, who has EVS cleaning up while we're doing work. And she has advanced diagnostic skills. 
and we're gonna hopefully she'll be able to tell from the testing and all that Miss Gonzalez did what's going on. Man, they're sending her in for another test. Oh my goodness. She's going for another test, but she feels a lot better. Her attitude about our hospital has increased. Okay, so that's good. That's good. 